You hear that? No, I'm not crazy. That's the sound of the rhythm stream that's in my head. Rhythm is king. You need to start hearing rhythm first above all. By tapping into your rhythmic stream, you'll begin to play jazz more authentically. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. There truly is a symbiotic relationship between liking what I do by subscribing. You get notified each time I make a new video if you hit the bell icon. And by helping my channel grow, you help me get great information out to people just like you. When studying jazz, not enough focus is placed on rhythm and articulation. And that includes jazz courses in schools colleges and universities. With many cultures around the world, music is taught by singing, tapping or clapping, and imitating. This is how our jazz heroes and jazz masters learned jazz. So why not take the most direct path and learn the same way? If you can get the rhythm to come from inside out, your playing, phrasing, and pocket will suddenly take a huge leap forward. Let's take a look on how we can make this happen. Arguably, the rhythm of jazz, and especially bebop, was born out of the second line drum beat in New Orleans. Originally, the second beat was somewhere in between straight and what is known as swing today. I suggest you watch Johnny Vidakovich's excellent video on this very topic. But not now. Wait until this video is done. I'll leave the link below. Remember my rhythm stream at the beginning of the video? Keep singing and tapping your own rhythm until you own it. Now if you keep that river of rhythm flowing in your mind, all you have to do is just float on top of that. While you're hearing your rhythm stream in your head, try playing over one chord. Now that you are starting to tap into your rhythm, it's time to start not overplaying. What you want to do is keep that rhythm stream going, but don't play everything you've been hearing. Just use it as your bass. Now play over blocks of your inner rhythm. Leave some space while your inner rhythm stream keeps flowing. <laughs> I was playing some long phrases, but notice they were broken up into smaller chunks, smaller blocks of information. I can't remember where I heard this from, but someone was on a tour with a band that was on a double bill with Dizzy Gillespie's band. The whole time while on tour, all Dizzy talked about was rhythm. In the tradition of the masters, apparently Dizzy said this statement. Some people hear notes and put rhythms to it. And some people hear rhythms and put notes to it. And then he walked away. <laughs> now, which of those two groups do you think Dizzy fit in? Remember, having a good time is not counting quarter notes. Dizzy called that clock time. Quarter notes don't swing. Everyone thinks that. Your inner rhythm stream swings. You adjust your rhythm stream to blend in with the band's 
swing. If you're having a hard time hearing your inner rhythm, work on it. Singing it is the best. Clap it, make it sit, make it feel good. It should always feel good. So here is an example of my inner swing. Do you see what I'm getting at? Okay, so now clap it. Like I said, make it sit, make it feel good. It should be effortless. You shouldn't have to think too hard about it. Another thing that you can do is take phrases from a jazz musician that you admire. I bet you a lot of it is because you like their rhythms, their internal clock. Here's a rhythm I stole or borrowed from Charlie Parker's solo on Donnelly. By itself, it's still more interesting than quarter notes. That's like uh, house dance music or something. Even though I stole it from Bird, it's missing something. And that something is articulation. Here, this is better, less bland. Now it has character and it is more interesting. Play it. Now that you have internalized that rhythm, try to hear your rhythm over a chord. Let's try a C7 chord. What if you hear the rhythm in the first two measures of a blues? It's the same rhythm, but notes are altered to fit the new chord in the second measure. Let's try to make it fit in rhythm changes. Again, I altered the notes just a little bit. The cool thing is, is that you can easily adjust your inner rhythm stream to match different players. There is no one right swing or feel other than what is happening in the band right now. So be listening. You can adjust your inner rhythm to have more or less swing so the group is cohesive. There is that really good feeling when you listen to music from the 30s and 40s. It just sounds like this right here is the best thing ever. You can't help but tap your foot. Perhaps that is what's missing a little bit in music today. The great saxophonist Gary Bartz says, you don't play jazz, you listen to jazz. You're constantly listening. You listen to what the elders are telling you in their playing. You listen to yourself. You listen to the bass player. You listen to the drummer. When you listen, you are able to react and possibly even guess what's coming next because you're that connected to the stream. And man, music is so much fun when that happens. Do, ba -do, do, 